Hey there guys, it's Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web for Gateway to Airguns review program. That's the GRIP program. So if you want to know the skivvy on the airguns that are out there, you got to get a GRIP and you get that only at gatewaytoairguns.org. So what are we going to be talking about today? This is the new Benjamin Caden. So Benjamin, they came out with a bunch of new guns. Actually what they did is they contracted with Krull over in Turkey who makes some pretty nice air guns. What's even better about those air guns is they're really affordable. So you got these great features at a really good price and gosh, that's what we want right here in the US, right? We want good features, good price, good performance, etc. This is the Benjamin Caden and I had my pick of the litter. I could have picked anything they had there and I went for this gun specifically because I wanted something simple. I didn't want a big bottle gun. I also didn't want a big shroud. I wanted something that I could go over here and take this off and if I want to go out in the woods or if I want to sit at the range or if I want to sit in my backyard, I want to make this super super quiet, I have all the options in the world to go ahead and screw something on the end of this because that's one half UNF. So, what makes this special? What makes me want to go buy this gun? Well, first of all, let's talk about price point. 550 bucks, okay? So that gets you a really nice looking PCP air gun. We've got swivel studs, so that's awesome. You put a sling on this and you are good to go. It's got an adjustable cheek piece, super nice hardwood stock. The Turks have some gorgeous wood stocks and this is really no exception. Now, is it regulated? No, it's not. So let's talk about performance. Uh, I know a lot of people, it's not regulated, forget it, I don't want it. Well, it's kind of short-sighted. Uh, let me try and explain this to you. If you have a well-balanced valve and a well-balanced hammer spring, you got the right hammer weight, you got all of this stuff balanced, you actually don't need a regulator. Regulator's great, it actually covers up all that other stuff that isn't done well. So if you want to have something that's less complex and just works, find a gun that doesn't need a regulator. Let's talk about that performance wise here. So on paper you get 60 shots. Well, it's going to have a curve. I would not take it to 60 shots. I get about 48 shots and you're looking at about a 60 foot per second spread. But if you dial that back to say 36 shots and 36 shots is a lot of shots. When I go hunting, I don't think I've ever taken 36 shots in the field. Maybe hunting prairie dogs I have. Uh, that's a whole nother thing. That's way fun. And I haven't done that in some time. And I shot a bunch of groups and I've shot a bunch of different pellets and it comes down to 1813s do really well. Um, back to the performance side in the 1813s you're getting 30 foot pounds. That means you're at like 870 up to 900 is really where we were and that 36 shot group was kind of in that range. It started at about 870, went to 900 and back down to about 870. So that's right at that 30 foot pounds and that's more than enough energy in a 22 to get the job done especially on small game that's rabbit squirrel jack rabbit uh, raccoon possum uh, armadillo it's got all of that covered no problem you get into the guns especially that are the affordable guns and there's stuff that just doesn't make the cut now maybe they're hard to cock or the trigger isn't great and you have all these different things well this has none of those now I haven't messed with the trigger. I know it's adjustable, but I haven't played with it. I really haven't seen the need to. One of the things I really liked about how they built this gun is this newly designed cocking lever. So the old crawl guns had a very sort of thin uh, metal, and this is metal, but it's got this nice flat sort of, I don't know, it's just more ergonomically pleasing. When I go to cock this, it really feels feels really nice. Uh, it does come with two mags, tw two 12-shot magazines, which I think is great. So one of the most important things with an air gun is that trigger control so that you're maintaining that follow-through, that position, that hold, that stability. And if the trigger isn't great, well, that's really where a lot of your shots kind of go cattywampus. This thing, it just feels really nice. So you take a look and you put all this together and I mean, we've got a gun, it only needs 3,000 PSI, so it's easy to fill. You get a lot of shots, very consistent, and you get great accuracy. I mean, the groups I was getting, like right out of the box, were, you know, quarters, and then as I kind of worked with it, and it just all came together, and we shot this group I can cover with my pinky at 50 yards. To me, that is awesome. Out of a gun that's 550 bucks, no work, just take it out and shoot it. 
to me that's very very impressive now the things that does help me do that is i have some really nice glass on this gun but i would put good glass on this i would not go for a hundred dollar scope i'd spend the money you've saved all the money on the gun go ahead and put some nice glass on it then you can make the most of that shooting you want to do you know whether you're 50 yards or 100 yards you're going to be able to make the most out of it and this gun certainly uh impressed me uh you know for 550 bucks this thing really delivered some great performance and great results. So if you're looking for that sort of, I don't know, high-end looking and feeling gun without the big dollar price, check out the Benjamin Caden. Guys, that's it. Today, we're taking a look at a beast of an air gun. This is the Hotson Pile Driver and 50 caliber. So what is the Pile Driver? The Pile Driver is a 50 caliber monster. It's available in 45 and 50. I opted for the 50 because I wanted to see, are we going to get that 800 foot pounds? Are we going to get there? Because that is a big number, guys. When you're talking about air gun and power, 800 is a big number, okay? Just recently, we were talking 600, 650 was the biggest number. Now we're talking 800. Come on, that's huge. So the Hot Sun Pile Driver, the way they're trying to get that power, they've got a carbon fiber bottle, 300 bar. So we're talking 4350-ish. That's a lot of pressure. We've got just a single shot action. Um, we'll get to how that works here in a minute. Okay, now believe it or not, this is actually a bullpup. I know you look at it and you go, Rick, that thing is huge. Well, it is. And can you imagine what it would be like if the action was forward where it's supposed to be? The way they get all that power is by having a really long barrel. Sure, they've got a massive tank with a lot of pressure and a big wide open valve, but you need that long barrel to really get that extra power. Well, if you had this in a traditional rifle, it'd be forever long. So they dropped it back into a bullpup design. And I gotta tell you, when you're at the bench, this thing's kind of okay to shoot. I haven't found it to be a problem. I don't find it heavy. I think it's very comfortable. Uh, I like the balance normally with a bullpup. I think the scope has to be so high, I get this weird, you know, out of balance feeling for me personally. But this is actually really nice on the bench. Now, I don't know what this would be like out in the field because she's pretty hefty. I mean, it's not as heavy as maybe I thought it was going to be, but that's a lot of weight. I don't know that I'd want to carry that around and maybe kind of hump through the woods with it. Maybe want to have it up in a stand on a nice rest or something. And this thing is just beastly. So we're going to fill this bottle with a lot of high pressure air. Exactly. Again, 300 bar, 4,350 PSI. Um, I will say that uh, ear protection with this guy is a must. It is very, very loud. We've got some slow motion. You're going to see it moves. I'm a big guy and it moves me and it, there's a good bit of recoil. And you actually, you know, I'm used to shooting air guns, no recoil. This has got a lot of recoil and I found myself kind of pulling my shots. That's a lot of energy, guys. I mean, that's a ton. I mean, just a year ago, we thought 650 was it. So, I mean, let's be realistic here. Um, the first three shots, 828, 823, 805. Okay, so that's three shots that are essentially in a big bore, identical shots. And that's why we got that group at 50 yards. So that group at 50 yards is going to take down just about anything in North America. I bet you, and I've never hunted an elk, but I bet you the right shot, you can take an elk with this. Now, maybe I'm wrong. You guys out there that hunt all the time say, Rick, you're full of it. I don't know. That's 600 and 40 foot pounds that I could put three shots like that. Um, that's, that's impressive. I mean, just full stop impressive. So I think that's pretty awesome. I will tell you that the technique to get the good accuracy out of this for me was you got to hold it like you mean it. I mean, it is not a finesse gun. You want to pull it in, hold it tight and just grip it and rip it. And then your groups just come together. So I really personally would love to have like a whole table full of different ammo and just see which one gets me closer to that 800 foot pounds. But frankly, 640 foot pounds with most of the other big bores that I'm shooting are three to 400. Uh, that 640 is pretty awesome, let me tell you. Guys, this is the Hot Sun Pile Driver. I wanna tell you, I really enjoyed shooting this gun. Uh, it was comfortable. It was not difficult to shoot. Trigger was nice. Accuracy was very easy to achieve. Once we sighted the scope, I put the headphones on, got comfortable. 
my groups just shrunk and I can shoot those all day. So let me tell you, just an awesome shooting air gun, tons of power, absolutely tons of power. Guys, that's it. My name is Rick Kutzer here with Airgun Web. We tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching. Hey there, everybody. It's Rick Kutzer here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today I got a whole bunch of really cool gear here. Thanks for watching. So let's jump into the Benjamin Akela here. So it's very light, it's simple, uh, it's very, very simple. It's really kind of simplistic in its design and its look. I actually like that a lot. Um, this is pretty slick. I mean, the stock is gorgeous. The trigger is great. The ergonomics for a bullpup, and I put that in air quotes, uh, are actually really good. I'm gonna get to that here in a minute. It does have a power adjuster here on the side, which means that, you know, this, what the way this one works is it restricts the transfer port. So if you turn this down, it's not, not as much air is gonna get out, which means you're gonna get more shots. But I've just got it maxed right out on full, which is probably where most of us are gonna put it. And uh, so I'm getting that 24 to 36 solid shots. So you want more shots, you turn the power down. If you don't, just you wanna go max power, just have your compressor with you because uh, you just top it off, takes no time at all. Real quick on portable personal compressors, I love the Hill compressor. I have a lot of options at my disposal and I use them in various different ways. I just drug power out here to my shooting canopy and this thing works awesome to just top off your gun in between shooting segments. I love having that thing around. It is awesome. I have, as I said, lots of other options, but quick, simple, quiet. Other key features of the Benjamin, you have, uh, obviously it's a bull pup. The trigger is very smooth, very predictable, very light. It is a joy to shoot. You can't even tell that you're shooting a bull pup. That's how good it is. They did a great job there. It's got a safety in front of the trigger. That's also very cool. You can put this rail here. It comes with this rail I mounted for my bipod, but right in front, there's a swivel stud. There's a swivel stud there. So when I wanna take this out hunting, put my sling on it and I can go. I don't have to think about how am I gonna sling this because they've already done that for me. It's super quiet, consistent. Is it accurate? Short answer is, yeah, it's pretty accurate. I shot a bunch of different pellets. Now, I knew the at one threes with my experience with this gun and this particular maker and the other model of that, the new batch of Benjamin guns, the at one threes really are the ticket. So I took this out, shot the at one threes, and right from the get-go, I was getting great results. There's no need to go hunting something else when those were doing so well for me. At 50 yards, we're getting inch, inch and a half now. I put my Hawk, uh, Air Max Compact. If you're finding that you're struggling to find a scope that really works well on a bullpup, try the Air Max Compact. It is really, really good for that. Get a nice set of mounts and you can give yourself the position you need to be comfortable and shoot really comfortably without getting a crick in your neck and all that other stuff. Uh, this worked out really well. Uh, the other thing they did, just as an aside, thumbs up to these guys, is they put this little adapter on here, this little I don't know, cheek rest or whatever we want to call it. It'll come off here. Uh, this little guy just made it that much more comfortable because you wouldn't want to rest your face on that slotted channel. That would be uncomfortable. But this slides on. It's nice and comfortable. And if you need to get back a little bit, uh, you actually have something to rest on, which is very cool. And it's also adjustable up and down too. So, uh, you know, it just made it that much more enjoyable to shoot and I could get comfortable, sit down and shoot for an extended period of time and really enjoy shooting the rifle. So I gotta say they've done a great job for up to the minute pricing, go to pyramidair.com and also I always put the links down in my description. So if you wanna see anything here, wanna know if it's available, uh, how much it costs, just click the link in the description, it'll take you right to it. So guys, that's it. Okay, so as the name denotes, this is the Fusion 2, that must mean there was a Fusion 1. And you know, there was a Fusion 1. And it was a great backyard gun. It was quiet, CO2 powered, you get a lot of shots, had good velocity, great accuracy. It was just a fun air gun. So what have they done to make it better? Well, they've done a lot. So let me start back here and we'll move forward, okay? So here is the stock. This is completely redesigned for the new Fusion 2. 
It is lightweight, it's ambidextrous, thumb hole, really, really comfortable. And now you've got some M-lock channels. So you wanna put some Picatinny rails here, you wanna add a laser, wanna add a light, wanna add a bipod. You can do all of that and you can do it really, really easily. Now moving forward, we have probably the biggest change in the system, period. The original Fusion 1 was single shot. Now it ships with two nine shot magazines. That's awesome. So you're no longer just adding one pellet at a time. You fill these up, you load them in your gun and you're good to go. I love that about the new system. As we move down the gun, we find the next major change in the system. The old Fusion had a cylinder here, had two CO2s. This also has a cylinder with two CO2s, but this one is removable. So you can take this out and drop in a large 88 gram CO2. So you go from like 60 to 80 shots to probably over 200 shots. That to me is just awesome. Now, as far as power output goes, we're getting about 700 feet per second with light lead pellets. I'm shooting the RW Superdomes. I did all my shooting at 25 yards. This thing just is awesome. Super accurate, super consistent, just a great shooting air gun. And it's producing about eight and a half foot pounds, which means you can actually do a little light pesting with this, which is just awesome being that it's so quiet. And now we come to the, really the final major upgrade. The whole barrel now is shrouded and they have a whole new suppressor. So where the first Fusion was really quiet, this one is super quiet. That means all the fun you're gonna have in the backyard with this is gonna be whisper quiet. And I love that about this whole system. They've done a great job with the Fusion 2. They had a great gun in the Fusion. Now they've added some really cool upgrades and made it that much better. Guys, that's it for now. My name is Rick Uta here with Airgun Web. Thank you.